have a pedestrian interaction right now? Is it going to let them pass? It freaked out a little bit, but uh, handled the situation in the end, like a true robo-taxi experience. Get ready for our most thrilling test drive ever. Today we're pushing Tesla Autopilot to its limits and it surprises us a lot. Watch as it navigates ultra-narrow city streets, treacherous construction zones and bustling pedestrian interactions. But remember, this is just the basic autopilot, not full self-driving. So expect some wild moments. In fact, right now it's doing a crazy maneuver. It went into the turn lane. And of course, it didn't turn. <laughs> Running through the city again, it can see the pedestrian on the crosswalk and it's slowing down for them. A really nice interaction. It's slowing down maybe a little bit too much. It's really scared of people, but better safe than sorry, right? Another pedestrian on the crosswalk and it's slowed down for them a little bit as well. You can see all the cars on the visualization that are parked in there. A little bit of phantom braking, a little bit too much, but still okay. And now with the lead car, it's probably going to do a little bit better as always, which is a pattern that we've seen in these videos so far. It's imagining this uh, truck uh, doing a signal to the right, a turn signal, which it's not doing in reality, but you can see it is turning right, so the imagination of autopilot is not entirely wrong. <laughs> I think the people around us must think that we are crazy. Now we're driving next to one of the historical landmarks of Kutná Hora. It's really beautiful. It's the first time, but not the last time you're seeing this in our videos. And Autopilot is doing a really great job here. It feels confident. And right now we've got a lot of harsh braking because of this improperly parked car again. Autopilot engaged. Can it handle this uh, sharp, quick turn or not? Because it's very well marked, it can see the lines clearly, it's doing a good job. Not so much over here, but it was still okay. It's still driving 50, which is the city limit. And of course, also managing the lead car in front of us. A nice straight road like this with clear lines is the perfect use case for autopilot. I would say even in cities. But of course, like I said, you always have to watch over, be prepared to take over. We have a parked car again, but it's not like in the street. So autopilot has no problems with that. But I bet you that if the car had its wheels like 10 centimeters into the street, it would slow down or even stop again. We have this big tractor going our way, but it's staying in its lane, so no problem for autopilot. And you can see that it's still driving much more like a computer. It needs to see the lines, and if it sees them, it's okay, but it, 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 if it can't see them, then it starts to freak out. And that's the big difference between autopilot and full self-driving. Full self-driving that's available in North America, so that's US and Canada, can drive really well even without lines. Now we have a problem with autopilot. Uh, it doesn't seem to react quickly enough to speed limit changes. So we have to increase the speed limit manually by turning the wheel on, turning one of the buttons on the steering wheel it did a really nice job over here, staying in its lane. And now it knows that it can accelerate up to 90 kilometers per hour, which it's also doing. We have a construction ahead. Let's see how it will 
react to that. I think it's not slowing down properly, even for the lead car that's ahead of us. I think it's slowing down too harshly, and right now it's it's a little bit confused, but it managed to navigate the construction site almost successfully, but at the end in here, it seemed like it was going to a little bit too close to the right side. The best moments of this video are still to come, so be sure to keep watching. But let me thank you all for the amazing feedback on our first videos. Every single comment helps us so much. And even if you just like the video, the YouTube algorithm shows it to more curious viewers like you. We have a cyclist coming our way, but he's, yeah, he's too far to the right for autopilot to really care about them. And we're looking forward to some more pedestrian interactions. Can autopilot accelerate with this car turning to the right? It freaked out a little bit, but uh, handled the situation in the end, like a true robo-taxi experience. And right now we have a really long stretch of marked road ahead of us, which is a little bit like a highway simulation for us. We're definitely going to try some highways in upcoming videos, so subscribe for that. And right now it should switch the speed limit back to 90, which it kind of has on the screen, you can see, but we now have to confirm by spinning the wheel up to 90 kilometers per hour. Approaching this turn on the horizon, there's a speed limit down to 60. Autopilot is slowing down, but the question is if it's slowing down quickly enough, and it seems so. It's going into the turn pretty nicely. Auto steer limited again on the screen, but it handled the curve really nicely. And right now we have a, an even sharper curve and it slowed down appropriately again. And even though the middle line is barely visible, it handled the situation extremely well. Autopilot's speeding up again, and now it should be slowing down already, which it is, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit horrifying for me still but I have a very brave driver that is letting autopilot do whatever it wants to do until it's super unsafe. And we have a closed road, which autopilot would probably just drive straight into. Yeah. Now we're driving on a much more proper road again. It's still a little bit narrow definitely too narrow for American standards. Let me know how you feel these roads are for you. Like, would you be scared of testing autopilot here or even driving yourself? Speed limit changed to 50 right now and autopilot reacted really quickly. It should have probably reacted before the sign. It reacted a little bit after but you heard the chime and right now it's driving properly through the city. We're driving next to train tracks. The road is a little bit divided here into two different colors, which is not a problem for autopilot. Hopefully the police will not arrest us. Driving across train tracks and it's slowing down to 30 right now. The 30 is ending and it updated the speed limit again, but it's not going to drive faster. So when it's slowing down, it is slowing down when it's supposed to, but when it's supposed to speed up, it's sometimes waiting for the driver's confirmation. We have a pedestrian interaction right now. Is it going to let them pass? It is. It slowed down properly for the pedestrian before the roundabout. And now comes the roundabout. Is this going to be a successful one? 
Uh, nope. It wasn't. Auto steer aborted. It freaked out a lot. Today we're testing out full screen visualizations so you can see that on the screen the city is really busy over here. Autopilot can see everything but it can't yet react properly to everything. The brain is a little bit nerfed. It's a little bit limited by the software stack that this car is driving, which still is the basic autopilot. And let me remind you again that this very car could use the full self-driving package, which is much more capable. And the only thing limiting it is European restrictions and regulations. It's driving through the city, it's seeing all the pedestrians, all the trash bins. Sometimes it's visualizing various things as cones. It's seeing all the cars. And right now we're approaching another roundabout. The main subject of our last video. And it couldn't handle it again. A little bit of braking to keep a safe distance. And as you can see, we have roundabouts almost on every opportunity, every intersection is usually a roundabout here in the Czech Republic. Or like most of them, it drove through the roundabout successfully-ish, but almost ran into a car going the opposite way after that. And right now we have a really interesting test coming out, going to try autopilot for the first time on cobblestone. These small cobblestone cubes, different colors, autopilot is going all around. It can't really, well, it can see, but it couldn't really handle these unmarked cobblestone cubes. Now we're trying to engage driving the opposite way. It can't be engaged yet and right now it can. So we've engaged autopilot again and it's doing a great job staying mostly on the right. I think today autopilot did a good job, but if you want to see it make us absolutely sick and worried for our lives, click on this video right here and please do not try doing what we did in there.